Hello, and welcome to the History Museum in downtown Lee Summit. My name is Sue Hart, and I'm one of the volunteers at the museum. Today we're going to talk about our exhibit on the Osage Indian. The Osage Indians, before the European settlers came to this area, roamed freely in this area. The oral history of the Osage says that, and that was the history that was passed around, passed down from one generation to the next. And that history says that they migrated here from the Ohio Valley. They were part of a larger group that came and the tribe split. They were part and called the largest tribe of the Southern Sioux. All of the tribes that migrated spoke the same Sioux language. The Osage settled in this area and their territory was from the Missouri River up north, bounded south by the Arkansas River, and on the east, the Mississippi River, and on the west, the Great Plains. Now the Osage were hunters, uh, brave warriors. They also planted crops. Before they went out on their summer hunting, they often would plant beans and corns and pumpkins, and they'd go hunting, and then they'd come back in August and harvest their crops. The men were the hunters, and they made their clothing out of uh, the animals that they hunted. The women were responsible for butchering the animals and tanning the hides and preparing it for clothing and blankets and other items. They, as I said, they were hunters, and they made and used arrowheads. These artifacts from the Osage were found in the Lee Summit area, and uh, they would sharpen a point on it and fasten it to an arrow and use those to kill their buffalo, deer, the various things that they hunted for. They lived in semi-permanent lodges, similar to these, that were often built for more than one family. They had thatched roofs to protect them from the rain. And as I said, the women would stay in the villages while the men went out hunting, and they were responsible for taking care of the home fronts. The first European settlers that came here were actually fur traders, and they first uh, touched base or, or made contact with the Osage Indians in 1670. Unfortunately, as more settlers moved in, the Indians were forced to move south and west. The Osage migrated to a reservation on, in Kansas initially, and then they were relocated to Oklahoma, where some of them still live today. This area, before it was called Lee Summit, was called Big Cedar. In 1865, the town was founded by William B. Howard, a gentleman who moved here from Kentucky. He initially called the town the name of Strether, after his deceased wife's maiden name. In 1868, the name was changed to Lee Summit after his friend, Dr. Pleasant Lee, who had also been killed. And the summit portion of the name refers to the fact that the, this area is the highest point on the railroad between St. Louis and Kansas City. And the Lee was originally supposed to have been spelled L-E-A, and it was misspelled on a boxcar when they painted the name, uh, the first depot, downtown Lee Summit, and it's been L-E-E -E ever since. We hope you'll come in and learn more about the Lee Summit History Museum. We would love to show you the rest of our exhibits. Thank you very much.